The TED Fellows Program brings together mold-breaking mavericks from all disciplines and geographies to participate in TED, share their ideas, and collaborate on heretofore undreamed of new projects. Now, we're excited to introduce the latest 20 scientists, artists, inventors, and entrepreneurs making breakthroughs worldwide, who will come together this October in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Meet the TED Global 2014 class. Alistair Harris, a British marine ecologist working with Madagascar villagers to preserve marine life while providing a sustainable living. Alison Killing, a UK artist and architect who focuses humorously on the subject of death. Her new exhibit, Death in Venice, will open at the 2015 Venice Biennale. Anastasia Taylor Lind, an English photojournalist focusing on depopulation in Eastern Europe. Her haunting photos explore what the future has in store for countries with declining birth rates, emigration, and other challenges. Bassam Tariq is an award-winning Pakistani-American documentary filmmaker and the co-founder of Honest Chops, the first halal butcher in Manhattan, a new foodie haven. His most recent film, These Birds Walk, explores the struggles of street children in Pakistan. Bill Salonga is the front man of the Kenyan group Just A Band, which fuses funk music and hip hop to encourage democracy and to give voice to Kenyan youth. Bradley Cantrell is an American computational landscape architect working to visualize complex ecological systems such as the Mississippi Delta and to create technological interfaces which imagine new forms of settlement, infrastructure, and habitat. Catherine Young, a South African neuroscientist working with the U.S. government to contain biological, chemical, and nuclear threats, whose original research involves controlling prosthetic limbs directly via the nervous system. Catherine Crump, an American University of California at Berkeley law professor and former American Civil Liberties Union attorney who specializes in free speech and privacy and the impact of new technology on First and Fourth Amendment rights. Constance Hockaday, a Chilean-American artist who creates immersive, large-scale art projects that float and deal with cultures on the margins. Jeffrey Siwo, a Kenyan computational biologist, is creating predictive models for drug discovery. Elac Angelo Diaz, a Filipino energy entrepreneur who founded Leader of Light, an NGO which has created a local sustainable supply chain to manufacture and sell extremely low-cost recycled plastic bottle-based lighting solutions to hurricane refugees, among others. Joe Landolina, a 21-year-old New York University student, chemist, and inventor of Vetigel, a gel that immediately stops traumatic bleeding in animals, and one day, humans. Jose Manuel Moyer, a Chilean food distribution entrepreneur whose company, El Gramo, works to reduce the cost of basic goods by providing vending machines for staple foods at local bodegas, reducing the need for costly trips to warehouse stores. Laura Bushnak, a Kuwaiti-born Palestinian photojournalist whose work focuses on women, literacy, and education reform in the Arab world. Marcella Uliano da Silva, a Brazilian biophysicist studying the DNA of an invasive species of golden mussel to discover clues on how to stop it from further endangering the Amazon River and all its species. Mohamed Dalwai, a South African healthcare entrepreneur and surgeon who created a medical triage mobile app which automates and improves the accuracy and speed of prioritizing treatment for patients in critical condition. Patricia Medici, a Brazilian wildlife conservationist leading a long-term project to protect the threatened Brazilian tapirs, a medium-sized rhino-like herbivorous mammal found in the Amazon and other parts of the world. Sangu Dal, a Ghanaian entrepreneur and finance whiz who invests in young African entrepreneurs from across the continent whose companies form the building blocks of future economic growth. Taranga Gunatuleki, a Juilliard-trained Sri Lankan opera singer who has sung with the New York City Opera and the Symphony Orchestra of Sri Lanka while providing free master classes, workshops, and recitals to prospective singers in Southwest Asia. Mandano, a Brazilian graffiti artist who founded Pimp My Carosa, a crowd-funded, community-led movement to raise awareness about the unsung poor garbage collectors across all of South America. 
you could be a fellow too. Our next application cycle opens in August. Email fellows at ted.com and we'll email you as soon as the applications are open. Or find out more information at ted.com slash fellows.